Hey YouTube, this is NJ Full Water 5, and uh, what I got here is my boombox build. Sorry for the shakiness. Um, as you can tell, I couldn't do this on my desk, so I had to build it on the ground. So most of this video is going to be kind of strange. It's not going to be my normal kind of video. It's probably just going to show stages of the build. Um, it's got uh, dates and audios uh, all the way in it, all the way around it, um, except for the, I think the tweeters are JBLs. Um, uh, let's see, those are ND 105-4s or dash eights. Uh, those are in parallel connection and that's so I can have four ohms. Uh, the little ones are NB65 4s. Uh, the JBL tweeters are soft dome tweeters, and those are 4 ohms too. I uh, believe they're 30 watt uh, tweeters, but uh, they can be ran all the way down to like 7 watts or something like that. Combined total, I think you got like uh, 60 watts per channel, or no, it's like 60 watts. On the right side, max, 30 watts RMS. The middle is 60 watts RMS, 120 watts max. Uh, I'm using a TP3, TPA3116D2. Uh, it's one of those uh, amps that you get off uh, eBay. It's uh, one of the more spendy ones. I went with the Bluetooth one that had the... Uh, I guess it would be the crossovers inside the amp, I guess, or some. I know I didn't use, have to use crossovers with the subs. Um, I had the crossovers that I used, I believe they came out to, I believe it's somewhere around 3,500 3, hertz at the crossover point. Um, those were custom made. I actually had a friend that I know that actually built those for me. He actually built me a couple of them. So uh, this thing sounds sweet, it sounds clear. Uh, there's a video that I did yesterday. I did it with my wife's camera again. I don't have a camera to actually film for good sound, but I can tell you this much, this thing rocks. This thing is loud. Uh, in the video, I think I've got, the very beginning of the video, I got it set where it's like, where I got the bass all the way off and it still hits hard. And then a little bit later on, I put that song, uh, Bass I Love You on and that one I turned up the bass about halfway and the volume I believe was a quarter and on the phone I had it about half uh, I don't want to like blow these just yet you know so I want to I'm just kind of try to break them in somebody told me once that you gotta like play your stereo for like a hundred hours or something like that uh, I also went with uh, ND105 PRs. Uh, those are the passive radios, or just like the ND105s, dash fours. I also got two radiators on the bottom. Uh, the radiators on the bottom are uh, the ones you get on the Harman Carmen. I actually have like six or seven of those laying around here somewhere. Of the actual Harman Carmen, I plan on doing a rebuild a little bit later on, like my very first uh, Bluetooth speaker. Uh, this was something I've always wanted to build. Uh, I wanted to wait till I got the skill for it. Um, also, I'm thinking about it. I'm not 100% sure, as you'll see in the video. I have grills for this. Uh, the reason why I'm thinking about putting grills on here is not for you know for the looks or anything like that, but just for protection because this thing's big and you know I'm gonna be lugging it around with me and I don't want to damage the speakers. Uh, the only problem I come across was I, I'd like to uh, put some covers on the tweeters too. I might actually have to make those. But I figured I'd leave it up to you guys. You guys should let me know if you think these would look better with the grills on or the grills off. It doesn't matter to me, but I'm going to wait and see what everybody else says after they see the build. Uh, the battery in here is uh, 5S4P, and I believe it's, I used 2200s in there. I might have used 2400s. I don't, I'm not really too sure. I know, I know I actually did a test, but I used the, um, uh, the Richter and I got was close to 9,000 milliamps or something like that uh, last night was the first time I ever used this and we watched we after I charged it completely we played it for like two hours and it's still sitting at I think it's like 20 
20 volts, 20.6, 20.8 or something like that. And it only goes up to 21. Um, I was going to use a boost converter as you'll see in the video, but I did a lot of research and uh, I, I, I don't know if they got the, the uh, voltages wrong online. I tried to find somebody that actually tested one of these to see what kind of voltage they got from a TP3116, but every one that I seen was kind of conflicting. Um, but online, looking up the specs on the on the chip itself, it says 19 volts is supposed to give you 25 amps, and I think it said 24 volts is going to give you 55 or 55 watts per channel, uh, 110 in the middle or something like that. But uh, yeah, so this was my take on a Bluetooth speaker. I was going to uh, do a little bit more tidying up of the of the wiring but once I got the back on and I did a test I there was no air leaks or nothing so I just decided to go ahead and just finish it up um, I had one air leak on one of the passive speakers in the back and that's only because of what I use was kind of bowed but I was able to fix that with a little bit of uh, silicone so yeah here's my interpretation of the build hope you enjoy I would like to thank JLPCB for sponsoring and making this video possible JLC PCB is one of the largest prototype manufacturers in China with over 10,000 PCB prototypes ordered and produced daily. Their warehouse has an overall location size of 4,000 square meters where they do one, two, and three layer or even multi-layer PCB prototypes. Upload your Gerber file with prices starting at $2 for standard PCBs. Make sure to visit JLC PCB's homepage, jlcpcb.com forward slash or use the link in my description. Click the quote now button, add Gerber file, or if you're using the easiest PCB designer site, Easy EDA, click the generate fabrication file where it will show you your Gerber file and ordering information. Click the order at JLC PCB where it will download your Gerber file automatically. Click your free color silk screen, green, red, yellow, blue, white, or black, and then click save to cart. Click the check out securely button, where it will ask you your shipping address, shipping method, submit order, and payment. It's that easy to get your quality $2 PCBs at JLC PCB in as little as three days. Thanks again JLCPCB for sponsoring this video.
all right YouTube um, that was my build um, I guess if you guys have any questions or like always if you think there's something I could have done better you could leave them in the comment section I'm usually pretty quick at getting back um, sorry if the video was long uh, I'd never done a video like this before um, it was a big build um, if I skip this step I think uh, just you know leave a comment in the comment section I'll hit you back uh, most of these parts I purchased over two years ago so uh, most of it was purchased at Parts Express and I believe most of the stuff is still available there um, all except for the amp uh, I think the amp I got online I, I went back to look to see if they carry the same kind of amp they have the same kind of amp except it's black and it doesn't look like it was built the same way it looks more like a looks more generic but uh the tp3 tpa3116 is my favorite amp to use i use that in almost all my builds or if i don't use a tp3118 i'll use something like a 316 or a 3110 or there that's just a really good amp everything comes out clean and crisp and um they're they're very strong and they're cheap so uh so yeah, that's my uh, my little take on a Bluetooth boombox. Um, I'll probably use this thing like crazy. Uh, I'm happy with it. Uh, I hope you guys are happy with it. Uh, so if you guys could, please leave a thumbs up, uh, share the video. I would really appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I will check you guys out in my next video.